Welcome back. Here we are going to explain forward propagation, also known as forward pass, an important step on training and evaluation of all classifiers. Let's take a classifier, maybe a neural network. No worries if you don't know what it is, I promise that you are going to soon learn about it and the principle is general for most classifiers. The first step is to evaluate what classifier is doing given your data. Given some data, the yellow layer, the model does all the operation in the following blue layers until it gives some result in the output brown layer. This step is called the forward step. We are going to start with a simple example. Let's assume that we have a model, it could be a neural network, some other type of classifier, or in more abstract terms, a computational graph. Intuitively, a computational graph is a network of nodes that represent numbers, scalars or tensors and are connected via edges that represent functions of operations. For simplicity and visualizations, instead of using large multidimensional tensors, we are going to use scalars. Our graph has nodes A, B, C and D and some operations between the nodes, like adding node A with node B or multiplying node C with node D. Our job is to do all the operations until we get the result G. First, we add A and B, getting 2 plus minus 4 equals to minus 2, putting the result in node E. Similarly, we multiply C with D, getting minus 2 times 2 equals to minus 4, and we put the result in node F. Now our nodes in the graph are nodes E and F, containing values minus 2 and minus 4. The last step is to multiply these two values and to put the result in G. We do that getting minus 2 times minus 4 equals 8, and so finishing our exercise. Let's implement it on PyTors. We first initialize tensors A, B, C and D to the corresponding values 2, minus 4, minus 2 and 2. We then add A and B to tensor E and we multiply C with D, putting the result in tensor F. Finally, we multiply E with F, putting the result in tensor G, and then we print the values of these three tensors, getting the same result as in the slides. Now, there is hardly anything fancy in this exercise. However, understanding it is of huge importance. Neural networks and most of the other classifiers can be understood as computational graphs. In fact, your code gets converted to a computational graph. Just that the graphs will be much larger and the tensors within them will contain millions of entries. An additional benefit of computational graphs is that they make the automatic computation of derivatives or gradients much easier, as we will see in the next lesson. Let's do a quick exercise to solidify the knowledge about computational graphs and forward